Have you ever had someone enter your life at exactly the right moment? Like someone was looking down on you and gave you exactly what you needed. I thought I had that once. Throughout school, I was always the weird girl that sat in the corner alone. I never had any friends, and I always thought it was because there was something wrong with me. But that all changed once I met Cameron. When I was in year 9, just after my 14th birthday, I decided to start using online chat rooms. I don't know why. I probably just wanted someone to talk to, I guess. Someone that actually liked me and was interested in what I had to say. That's when I met Cameron. Even though he was 16 at the time, which was slightly older than me, we instantly connected. He brought happiness into my life at a point where I felt like I was destined to be alone. Even when we had never even met and only spoke online, he had helped me through so much. The loneliness at school, personal issues, moving to college, everything. Two hours. Two hours waiting in the cold for Cameron to turn up and he never even showed. I thought he cared about me as much as I cared about him. But in return, I got nothing. Not even a message explaining where he was. The one person I thought would never let me down did. Two days passed, and I was left wondering what I had done for Cameron to suddenly decide that he no longer wanted to talk to me, or that's what I assumed had happened after receiving no messages from him. But then all sorts of situations entered my head. Had he gotten an accident? Did something go wrong with his traveling? Or did he simply just decide he didn't want me in his life anymore? But then I discovered something new. Cameron wasn't a 19-year-old boy like he said he was. He is really a 41-year-old man named Michael. The police came to speak to me after discovering our messages on his computer after someone reported him, and explained how he is currently in police custody and is going to be charged with grooming underage girls online. Right now, I feel so hurt. I feel let down, and I feel incredibly betrayed. I shared every little detail of my life with this person, yet, I don't even know if I know the real him anymore. But I can't let him go. I mean, yeah, he's done these awful things, but I'm different. I'm special to him. I know I am. I can't lose him in the relationship we had, the relationship we still have. That's why I'm going to wait. No matter how long it takes, me and Michael will be together 